woman's love for a child is very compelling. Who do you love more? Your son or your husband? Who would you pick if you had to choose between them? I've learned how to read people. It's important to my business. So, who do you love more? Your husband or your son? I love them both differently. I'm devoted to my son, of course. Of course. What kind of woman would you be if you weren't? A woman's love for her son and devotion to her son is all-consuming. It doesn't have to be. Of course it has to be. When you have a child, don't you have to take care of him? You have to feed him. You have to play with him. You have to read him to sleep. My husband is the love of my wife. Maternal love is unshakable. It's unconditional. How can a man can be? You know, I don't know how to measure love, but I know I have a wonderful husband, and he puts me first, and I put him first. You're just saying. I'm not. I'm not. You know, kids, they take your love, and they grow up, and they move away. But I love my husband forever, and I know he feels the same way about me. Never betray him like my wife betrayed me. I would wait it out in the shed, in the gardening shed, with the compost, in the dark, for an hour and a half, and nobody bothered to come and find me. So I finally made my way up to the house. That's when he tried to kill me. Uh, I'm afraid I startled Mrs. Spencer. She took a dinner before. How badly are you hurt? It's my back. And I'm never going to walk again. Mrs. Spencer, I do apologize. You're going to do a lot more than apologize when I sue you and your employer. you're alive, but I'm going to keep you that way. In point of fact, Fernadine Stone Cold is in charge because okay, of his expertise. Explain, you can explain to her later, okay? i got to get back to the house. I want you to stay with Nadine and Elizabeth. Wait, I will uh, take possession of the firearm no, and guard no, the fair no, ones with my... She knows how to handle a gun. I want you to keep lookout, provide surveillance, and do whatever you have to do to protect them. Grasshopper here is no base. Stone Cold is too kind to state the obvious. Jackal is a useless wimp. Spinelli, in case you missed it, the Jackal saved my life. Wait, Nicholas. It's fine. You need to be here with Patrick. I'll be okay. All right, be careful. Okay. Do either one of you want to come with me back to the ballroom? Oh, no. No, we're going to stay here. He needs more support. What's wrong? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just uh, the stress. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Emily, we can't wait any longer. We need to prep. Any of you are wondering who stabbed Rick Lansing? 
I just spent a half an hour in a cave with Anthony Zakara. Honey, are you okay? Well, the man is a psycho, okay, and I thought I was gonna die. So no, I'm, I'm not really okay. Where's Jax? He and Jared, did they, did they make it back from the boat? Jerry and Sam showed up a little while ago and said that Jax was gonna bring the boat around the island to the main dock. And did anyone go check on him? No, we were told to stay here for our own protection. And you guys are okay with that? No one thought Jax was in trouble, that he might need some help from someone? I managed to make it on my own, but thanks for your concern. You are kind to try and console me, fair one, but the truth is plain for all to see. Stone Cold is the embodiment of all things manly, while well, the Jackal toils feebly at his laptop. But you saved me from Zakara. I'd be dead now if it weren't for you. See, we ran away. Stone Cold, he would have dispatched the Uber evildoer. Just because you don't race around with a gun and doing everything yourself doesn't mean you're a wimp. It means you're smart. Is the, uh... Maternal one, not going to advise Fair Nadine that while she may have the best intentions in her less than flattering assessment of Stone Cold, she's also astonishingly incorrect? She has a point. And Jason will do anything to help the people he cares about, but he's terrible at accepting help. Well, yeah, that, that's because he doesn't need to. I mean, he's... that guy is a monolith, a tower of strength unto himself. Well, I think the most interesting thing about Jason is that he has you for a friend. Remain silent while the Jackal investigates. I thought I was just standing there talking to some guest. And then he started going on and on and on about his wife's roses, and I realized I'm talking to Anthony Zakara. I told you, Jash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did he threaten you? No. No, not directly, but he kept asking me these testing questions, and if I gave him the wrong answer, he was just gonna turn on me in a heartbeat. I think that Zakara killed his wife, and that's what made him snap. Well, that would explain his freaky obsession with Johnny. See, Logan? Carly has seen, spoken to, and was almost killed by Anthony Zakara. That means Johnny was right. You lay off? Please! If Johnny was fat and balding, do you think Lulu would be chasing him all over Windermere? Have you seen Sonny? Sonny's here? Uh, he went to go confront Anthony Zakara. Alone? That was a good idea. I haven't seen Sonny, but Robin and Patrick, Emily and Layla are about to operate on Rick. Alexis and Skye, they're up there as well. How's Rick? Under the circumstances, they're doing the best they can. I have to try to get Rick to the mainland. No, you're not. You'll never make it across the harbor. Might be Rick's only chance. I don't care. You're risking your life for that break. We don't have time to fight about this. You know I have to do this. I'm the only one who can handle the boat. Why do you have to be so unselfish? Why can't you be more like me instead of good and noble and forgiving? <laughs> I thought you liked those qualities. Well, I do, unless it means I'm never going to see you again. Look, I have every intention of spending the rest of my life with you and the boys. Okay? You better. I'm so mad at you. I love you too.